Hi, I'm back. Once again, I'm Bow Bow Sheet for any newcomers. Covers. Um, and today I'll be doing a DIY on how to cut a shirt. Like how to, what's the word? Okay, I'm just gonna say how to remake a t-shirt because um, I have a ton of t-shirts and they're all just um, sleepwear for me at the moment. So I guess I'll start. Um, when you think of cutting a shirt, um, you think about the just the back of the shirt, right? Or like, I'm just gonna show you something. Okay, so today I'm gonna be showing you a shirt. Okay, how to make a shirt with the fringe at the bottom all the way around with beads. Um, you're definitely gonna want some beads handy. Good amount of them too. Um, I have a giant jar of beads and they're all pastels. Ow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They can be different shapes as long as they're beads. Um, and you're also gonna want scissors, of course. So I'm gonna start with cut it, with cropping it. If I, I'm not gonna crop it very far because the fringe is gonna crop it even more. I'm just gonna cut off like maybe seven inches. Probably more than that, but yeah, I don't have a ruler right now. You don't really need a ruler. Oh, well, and of course you need a t-shirt, but I think you kind of got that. Kind of just a normal shirt length now. Yeah, it goes. I find with some shorts on, so actually it's a little shorter than the whole short the shirt length. But yeah, okay. So I'm just going to leave it laying out like this, and you can have it on the front or the back. And I'm just gonna. You can choose to mark it. I'm not going to mark my shirt, but you can mark it where you want to stop cutting. So like, I'm gonna, probably going to start stop cutting around here, but I'm not going to mark it. Um, so yeah, just start cutting your fringe. So this does take a while because, yeah. So I'm probably gonna start making them a little bit bigger, but probably not too much bigger. Because this is a pretty big shirt. So you guys can cut along with me. I really need to sharpen my scissors, so, yeah. So, this is kind of what it should look like, all the fringe. So, yeah, see. And we're just gonna keep cutting now. I mean, I'm most likely gonna, I'll update you if I ever do anything to the back of this shirt, because I think I probably will. I mean, this is going all the way around, but I think with the remaining stuff in the back, I'm probably gonna do something. I'm probably gonna make it cut out, because this is just gonna be kind of a pool cover up for me, probably. I don't really know.
all my strips aren't exactly even, but it doesn't really matter. This could take a while. I'm going to try to speed up the process a little bit. Just a sec. Yeah, I'm going to start speeding up. I have kind of choppy lines. I'm not really cutting straight lines. But oh well. Like when it comes to these things, it's just, I don't know, it's a little more uh, flashy, and I kind of like flashy. I'm gonna like hold this with my foot because <laughs> it keeps moving. Running away. I'm like, I have like a third left, maybe. A little more. But point is, I'm almost done. Almost there. This is a Nutcracker t-shirt. And it's kind of old. So. I'm just giving it a little boost. Because it needs one desperately. Yeah, we've just got a little bit left like a fourth left maybe probably a little more than a fourth because I suck at estimating feathery stuff going on here. It's weird. It really looks like I'm cutting out feathers. <laughs> I have like two more feathers. <laughs> have a break for our fingers after this. Okay. Almost done. Last, this is the last cut and I'm almost done. We're just going to kind of stretch them out now. I suggest going one or two at a time. I'm going to do two at a time just to save time. Yeah. 
gives it more of that rough grunge look. Yeah, kind of a hippie look. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it, so. Jigs. Some of my, I cut them some. Some of them I cut a little thick. They're hard to stretch out. I'm doing my best. But, you know, it's really not my best. I'm just like swinging back because they're so thick. <laughs> okay, so yeah. It's kind of. Sacky looking. This is like my last huge stretch. Yeah, done. Okay. You can see a little more spacing. A lot cooler. Yeah. All right. Now that we've done that, we're gonna get the beads. So. flower bead that I'm gonna use for one and make sure you don't do two together this is gonna take one so yeah I suck at doing this. I think I'm just gonna do the other normal bead. <laughs> this is really hard and it takes a long time. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey, so I finished my shirt. Um, this is what it looks like. As you can see, the beads are all on. You want to tie bottom so you can pull the beads down so yeah i did some little cutouts here cut out the collar the sleeves so yeah and then i did do the back which i will make another video on and then i kind of did some cutting on the sleeve both sleeves Just add a little flare, but yeah. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you some of the other shirts I did. I have one right here. This is just kind of t-shirt. I cut off the collar and the sleeves. I gave it a V-neck. Then. I did bows in the back. I'm gonna make a video on this too. Um, yeah. <laughs> so here's the other one I did. This one's kind of a cover up for the pool. It definitely, this is like the first shirt I ever did. I did this a really long time ago. Um, but I wear it, so. I wear this over bathing suits. So yeah, I did those little things. Kind of goes down and it goes out. So, yeah, it is zigzag. And the back. 
which I'll also do a video on. So there's going to be a lot of these videos. So please subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for watching.